fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fucking shit! Are you fucking serious? Really? Really? Of all the fucking people, are you serious? You fucking serious? For fuck's sake, I wait every fucking year in anticipation of this race. Every fucking year. And every fucking year, I'm always pissed the fuck off. It never fails. 2007 was the worst year of my life. His fucking name is going to be up there with greats like Dale Earnhardt, Richard Petty, Kale Yarbrough. All these people deserving of the respect that they have. What the fuck has Logano done with his life? His first win was a rained out race. It was given to him. His, he did jack fucking shit after that. His ride at Penske was given to him. That was Hornish's car. What the fuck about Justin Allgaier? Wasn't he like a Penske driver in the Nationwide Series like back in 2008 before it became the 54 and 22 show? Why didn't he get it? Why does he have a shit for car in the 51? It's one of the best slow cars out there, but it's still a fucking slow car. Everything has been given to this fucking prick. 2007, the race ended under green, even though there's a massive wreck. Talladega last year, they wreck in front of the flag man, and it's still green. Until it gets to the backstretch. I literally can't right now. Drivers like Dale Earnhardt working 20 fucking years to get this win. And Joey fucking McGon. Fucking goddamn fucking piece of shit. You want to fucking know why I hate this prick? 2010 Daytona. Pepsi 400 or whatever the fuck they called that race. He causes a wreck that makes Mark Martin get out. 2012. Pocono. Mark Martin's on his way to winning there for the first time. Lagana has a superior car. Better tires. 20 laps to go. And he bumps and runs him? Are you serious? You can't even have the courtesy to just pass him? You had a bump and run, Mark Martin? You suck that bad! 2014 against the fucking 22 that belonged to Sam Hornish Jr. or Justin Allgaier. The fuck did Joey Logano fucking do to deserve that fucking car? What a fucking prick. And now I got a fucking Daytona 500. You know why I was so pissed when Jimmy Johnson won the Daytona 500 in 2013? And I wasn't as pissed as when he won the championship? Because the championship means jack fucking shit. He won five of them in a row. What kind of prestige does a championship like that have? The Daytona 500 still has some prestige to it. It's like the only race of value left in all of NASCAR. And this fucking asshole, I would have taken Jeff Gordon. I hate Jeff Gordon. I hate Jimmy Johnson. I would have taken either of those fucking assholes over this piece of shit. God, I fucking hate him. I fucking hate him. What a fucking asshole. Mark Martin gets passed. Kevin Harvick earns it. Mark Martin doesn't get passed. Jimmy Johnson earns it. Dale Earnhardt Jr. earns it twice. Everyone's earned it. Jamie McMurray, Trevor Bain. Sands 2009. That really wasn't Kenseth, but at least he redeemed himself by actually winning it in 2012. But under fucking caution, are you serious?
you fucking s and the truck race was shit and the nationwide series race was good this is gonna be the only good xfinity race of the season mark my words it's gonna suck from here on out except kyle bush is out except the 54 is still gonna be in the fucking field fuck nascar fucking hate it i wait all winter for this all winter for this this is what we fucking get a boring race until it's like 40 to go and then it fucking ends as a fucking piece of shit. You fucking kidding me. You fucking kidding me. You fucking serious. Fucking hate Lagana. Fucking asshole. Fucking piece of shit. So anyway like to take the good with the absolute fucking worst. Martin Truex actually finished. So that's a plus. Casey Mears got like fifth. We'll just have to see at Atlanta if anything comes to fruition from this. Kurt Busch is suspended. At least I liked Curtis. Kyle Busch is injured. At least he was entertaining. Fucking load of shit. That race went about as fucking bad as it could have gone. If it weren't for those couple of laps where they were three wide for the lead, that was good racing. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I was tweeting out my excitement during that three wide for the lead stuff. That was absolutely beautiful. I talk a lot about 2000. 12 at uh, Talladega 2012 Talladega in the fall when they were four wide for the last two laps until the wreck happened Everyone talks about that wreck when they're referring to that race I like to talk about that four wide for two that was that was beautiful What happened in the Daytona 500 was beautiful and then it fucking ended and it, then and then it was just fucking stained and it doesn't help that the first hundred laps was chock full of freight train. You remember 2009 Talladega when they couldn't bump draft in the corners? Remember when they freight trained for like 30 laps? They did that at Daytona now. I'd take tandem drafting over that bullshit. But when it got to being three wide there, that was fucking magnificent. That's probably going to be the best part of the season unless it happens again in July and someone besides this fucking asshole piece of shit loser ass motherfucking car stealing race fucking Mark Martin destroying force of nature that is Joey fuck you Logano this is this is Joey Logano this is this is like his mugshot in fucking prison this is fucking mugshot He's got his hat all turned sideways. He's got the 22 going on. He's got the middle finger. He's got the whatever you call this. He's like, duh, duh, duh. What a fucking prick. Fucking hate him. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the past nine minutes of my rage. I know I haven't. Holy shit, I needed to get off that off my chest. Oh, I feel so much better now. How about one last round of rage? Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next NASCAR review, Atlanta 2015. Bye.